Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, a free site, bettingangle.us, a free site. Today is January the 8th, 2021. Let's talk week one of the NFL playoffs, but first remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now let me just say, as I've said for a long time here online, I believe the secret to the playoffs, this stage of the playoffs, goes through the NFC East. Let's face it, the NFC East had problems this year. The Redskins limped into the playoffs. Great defense, terrible offense. A quarterback, Alex Smith, who has dropped foot and is compensating for it by having a brace. He's a mobile. He's going to have problems against a fierce pass rush, right? Well, let me just say this. Statistically, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers are underrated, in my opinion. I believe they're about to make a run. Right? You look at their offensive DVOA numbers on sites like footballoutsiders.com and their defensive DVOA numbers, and quite frankly, they're better than the one seeds. I like a parlay this week. Moneyline parlay, the first part of that parlay, is to take Tampa Bay over the Washington football team. Right? Washington, quite frankly, should not be in the playoffs and would not be in any other division. Right? Let's couple that with the second play. Anytime you see a lot of guys out with COVID, guys like Denzel Ward, the cornerback for the Cleveland Browns, as well as their head coach, and they're playing a team that's rested. Understand, Ben was on the sidelines for the last week of the season. The Steelers treated week 17 as if it was a bye week. So even though they didn't technically have a bye, a lot of the key people, Joe Hayden, rested. When you see a situation like that, and it's in the division, right? The Steelers know the Browns. They're not going to be surprised by Nick Chubb. They already know who he is. They face the Browns twice a year. And when you see the gap in playoff quarterback experience, right? Big Ben is a guy who's been to multiple Super Bowls. Baker Mayfield, a guy I respect, has not. Right? The Steelers have been to the playoffs many times in recent years. This is the first time that Cleveland's made the playoffs in quite some time. I like the Pittsburgh Steelers here over the Cleveland Browns. Now understand, these teams aren't going to prioritize running up the score. So I'm not going to touch the point spread total in either the Tampa Bay Buccaneer game and right now the spread's eight points. It's over a touchdown. Or the Cleveland Brown game where the spread's six points. Right? I believe if teams like Tampa are up big late, they're going to let their opponents score as long as it's time consuming and puts the clock on Tampa's side. The same thing with the Pittsburgh Steelers. So I'm staying away from point spreads. Right? Especially point spreads up around a touchdown. Let me also say, too, I'm staying away from games like the Buffalo, and I think Buffalo is a great team, the Buffalo Indy game, simply because there again, Phillip Rivers vastly more experienced than Josh Allen. Josh Allen looked terrible in the second half of his first playoff game right, uh, in a prior year, looked terrible. And, of course, it's too many points, and Indy statistically is better than their record. Right? So, to me, the play here is a money line parlay. 
Tampa to win, and Pittsburgh to win. Right, I'll be heavy on this money line parway, excuse me, parlay, because I got you, Jots, on the Washington Redskins to win the whole thing, excuse me, the Washington football team, to win the whole thing during the season. So I'm playing with leverage on both sides of that part of the play. Right, so for me, the options are limited this week. They're limited. To a parlay, Tampa and Pittsburgh. Two game parlay, money line parlay, simply to win. Right? Let's go further, too. Two teams got buys this week. Right? Potential MVP winner, Aaron Rodgers' Green Bay Packers. And the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, both teams have problems in my eyes, but I'm not going to fight the tape here. Understand what a bye week means. It's as if both of those teams won this week and did so without getting any injuries or fatigue. That's invaluable, especially when you know both of those teams play at home the week after this one. Right? So they're home, they're sleeping in their beds, they're healthy, they're rested. I believe this is where NFL futures come in. I believe right now you're getting Kansas City as at a plus 200 to win it all. And you're getting Green Bay at a plus 450 to win it all. Right? Don't wait for either team. You want to take futures action on both right here, right? Some of the teams that win this week are going to suffer injuries. This is a collision sport. Many of the guys are tired. The season just ended, right? The teams playing this weekend, apart from teams like the Steelers, which rested key players, had that capability, most of the teams didn't. They're tired. They've played 17 weeks or at least a 17-week season with a bye week. So my point to you is don't underestimate the value of rest. In addition to the money line parlay that I'm taking, again, Tampa to win, Pittsburgh to win. Right, and I'm going heavy on that money line parlay. I'm also putting some futures action here on Green Bay and Kansas City. Right, to me, it's just good math. And since you're getting both at greater than two to one, that's a worthwhile play, especially since both will be playing at home the week after this one. That's how I see it for week one of the 2021 NFL playoffs. Let me know what you think. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section of this video. Thanks for stopping by.